just slowly. <laughs> you don't want me to fall down here. Yeah, no, don't fall. Just walk slowly. Um, take another step. You have seven to go. One. Four. Slowly. Good, yeah. Um, one more. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Nah, that's it. You're not gonna fall. Just follow my lead. What are you doing? Just follow my lead. Wait, is this not the way to the kitchen? Um, you'll find out. Just stop. Talk, right? Okay, so I'm gonna take my hands off and make sure you leave your eyes closed. Just hold on. Um, uh, okay, you can open your eyes now. Look down. Wait. Wait, is this? Oh my God! This is the the coaching I told you I love. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, yes. Thank you, baby. Okay, I... what? Let me help you with this. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Like it? I love it. Oh, my God. I love it. This is beautiful. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> this is so beautiful, babe. Thank you so much. Happy anniversary. So sorry, I did not get you anything. That's alright. As far as I've got you here, it's okay for me. You know I love you, right? And I love you too. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary to us. Come <laughs> here. Oh Look my at god, you. this is so cute. Huh? I thought you were not paying attention when I was mentioning that I love it. But you know I had to play that way like so sweet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. I could do much more than he does for me. He does so much and I can't even explain it. I know. But if he loves you so much and he doesn't want you to do anything, then so be it. After all, you are not lacking anything. He provides everything that you need. So enjoy yourself, babe. But, but then I, I won't go. I just enjoy your anniversary with your day. Okay? Thank you so much. Okay, you know, let's even forget about me. What about wisdom? No, not today. Today is for you and your husband, okay? No. Oh, ask me some other time and I will tell you. <laughs> okay. Oh, you see this is your juice. Forget about it. I need my turkey, my chicken, my food. You want whiskey? Something strong. Of course. You know ah. well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no you problem. Such a lucky girl. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. I can't believe it's a year already. Mm. And um, we keep getting better and better. And better. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then. Are you thinking of work? Nope. Nope. We already agreed. No working, okay? I already have all you need and more, baby. 
you see all we'll need is uh, just relax enjoy our early years and we can have kids much more later okay. mm. you know i love you right and you know i love you the most i love you most and you know i love you the most no i love you more than the most i love you the greatest of the greatest of all love i love the most the most most the most this i don't know where that is there's a word like The salary I was receiving from my first job was on what half of the insult I received from that woman. <laughs> well, you are very stubborn, you forgot to add that. Oh, please, please, cut him some slack. You, that you are my friend. If I give you the wala you used to give this man, I'm sure you'd have been dead by now. <laughs> Don't mind this his innocent look. If I tell you what I see behind doors, you allow me to shine for once. That's how I do this business, whatever you do inside. So, yeah. what's your experience with horrible bosses? What? Horrible bosses, I mean, to the reason why you've been laughing. I, I know you to be a very quiet person. While we're dating, you were this cool. Married now? My husband does not let me work, so I don't have experiences with horrible bosses. Um, plus... Since she's um, that's fine. Though it sounds strange, can we talk about something else? And what do you suggest? Women, of course. I think we should talk about women, what women oh. really want, and why they have such beautiful bodies, not like us, the men. That's a very insane topic to discuss. Exactly. He talks about women in front, front of women. Gosh. Ali. Your phone's ringing. Sorry, who's Andrew? It's me, Andrew, your ex-boyfriend. Don't pretend like you don't know me. Hey, wait, 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 wait. What do you want? Babe, I want you. I want... Hey, just hold it right there. Are you sick? Are you mad? Mentally derailed? Is something wrong with your head? You... If you dare call this number, Again, fire will burn you. Idiot. Um, honey, who was that? Don't worry yourself. It's just one moron. I'll take care of it. It's fine. Are you sure it's not something you want me to help you out with? Don't worry yourself. Tomorrow morning, I'll call Tracy and we'll sort this whole bullshit out. Do you know, there is going to be here. Calls back. Say whatever you want to say to him. What is wrong with you? Are you sick or mad? How can a grown up man like you just see a number and you be disturbing my line? Do not call my phone again. Look. I'm married, happily married, I love my husband, I love my family, and I will not tolerate this nonsense and frivolities. Do you understand me? Do not call my phone anymore. Please! Huh? Who knows this is all this? God! What? What? If I... You don't understand. I feel so angry and irritated right now. I know. 
But please calm down. I've always known Andrew to be like this with women. But I thought he could at least give you little respect as a married woman. You should stop it though. Because he's going to destroy my marriage. I don't want Kissy thinking that I'm having something to do with him. He has to stop it. He needs to stop it. He should stop calling my phone. Ah! Don't worry. I'll get wisdom to talk to him, okay? They have to talk with him. This whole thing should stop. Ah -ah. I have a very good thing going on with Kingsley. I don't want to do anything to jeopardize it. I'm not ready. I'm building something beautiful and good. Let him not come and shatter it for me, please. I know. That's why I say you should calm down. Everything will be fine. Well, what kind of problem is this now? <sighs> Don't worry, everything will be fine, okay? I assure you. Babe, hey, are you okay? I'm not okay, honestly. I'm not. What is it again, sir? I actually want to talk to you about something. Okay, I'm listening. It is about Andrew, a friend. I know. He told you? You bet he didn't. I ran across Rita this afternoon and she wasn't looking happy with me at all. I got her talking and she told me everything. See, that's your Andrew of a friend. Is he okay? He has been calling Rita lately. Does he not know she's a married woman? What's wrong with him? I spoke with him today. I hope he stops. She needs him to stop. He's getting too much, he please. He will stop. Stop poking yourself. No. She shouldn't uh, cause problems for her, please. So is that why you were giving me all this look? It's enough. You want to use Andrew to spoil my own? Oh. Come on, come here. Where's our friend, John? <laughs> um, babe. You know, if we keep up with this, I'll go to work late. I actually want you to... Because I'm going to be so bored and lonely. I know. But you could call Tracy to come over. I need to keep you company. I know, but... I know, no, but... You know we cannot keep up with this. I need to go to work, please. Oh, stay a little bit. <laughs> stay. I wish I could stay, baby. Stay, please. I love you. Five minutes. It's five minutes? Ten minutes? I love you, babe. Thanks. I'll be back soon, all right? Good boy. Just stayed a little bit. <sighs> I don't even know where this is point it's going from. Okay. Yeah, help me, she's Whoops. Alright, there you go. Hmm. Are you sure you didn't Hmm. Ah. Okay, let's make a sit down. I go see if it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. is it you need to sort out? I mean, you're not picking your calls in my presence. What's going on? Mm. Look at me. I'm not doing anything that will make you unhappy. Trust me, it's nothing to worry about. I think I'm going to sort this out. I need you to know that I am not cheating on you. I am not doing anything that will make you angry, disappointed. Alright? This... 
Okay. Maybe you should take the call again when you call. Because I, I really do not know how to explain it for you to understand. So, I hope he calls again. Oh, well. If that's what you think. Alright. Okay. Hello. Oh, wow. So I finally get to speak with you. Well, it's fine. I want my share from that woman. After all, no man owns any woman. Hey, hey! What, what are you saying? Listen, I don't ever want to hear or see you call this number again. <laughs> so, sick, right? What name do you want? Just calm down and hear me out, okay? Hey, hey, don't! Don't even tell me to calm down. What do you want now? I need us to meet once more. You know what? I'm getting so irritated. I'm getting angry. And what exactly do you want from me? I don't like this whole thing. You keep calling me and you want, you want to destroy my marriage? What do you want from me? What? No. Just this once, I promise. And I won't call you again. You see me, and I really do not want to even ask what you're going to talk about. But you want to see me, and if you see, I'm not even going to see you. Don't worry, I'm not going to see you. Forget about it. What do you want? I'm listening. Just this one last time, please. You want to see me? Fine. If you see me this time, you're not going to disturb my life with your calls and your text messages. Promise? Okay. That would be great. Alright then. Send me a message. Tell me when and where to meet you. And I hope this whole bullshit ends. What is going on here? You're awake. You were up for a while. Oh my god, can you be back home? It's past three. Be calm. What happened here? Why am I on your bed? Okay, so you slumped at the restaurant. I called the doctor to ensure that you'll be fine. He assured me that you'll be okay, that I should offer you milk, but... Hence, I don't have... I thought that 
this will suffice before you come home. I feel okay with that. Don't call my phone again. Don't. So, how was your day? Better. And yours? Hectic, you know, working to stay wealthy. You know, babe, you're working so hard. Don't you think I should help you? <laughs> Don't go there. That's no discussion. Remember, we had this before marriage. And um, I said you were never gonna work. The babe, I... there's no but. Listen that you are the queen of my empire. I am a worthy man. And the queen never works. Okay, okay, now you're flattering me. Not flattering you, just following you the way things are. Look at you. And you know, our kids are going to be so cute. Yeah, I bet. And I know they're going to look like me. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And if they get to look like me, I get to name them all. No, that's not fair. I refuse. That's <laughs> not fair. <laughs> no, they will not. Of course they will look like me. Mom is gorgeous. <laughs> you know, I'll do everything for you, right? I know. <gasps> I'm so happy for you. You in my life. I'm not happy because you're on my wall. Hey, hey, don't let that go. You're not gonna see the play with again, you know that, right? You okay? Your temperature is so high. I, I need to go get you some medication. No, stay with me, please. Baby, your temperature is high. The medication is going to help you calm down. Stay. So, so strange and I feel so sick. I just don't know. Oh, this whole thing. It has a good news then. It, that makes me an aunt or even a godmother so. So why are you not jumping and calling Kisley now? Because this thing is not supposed to happen. How? How can a woman who sleeps with her husband Every now and then, find getting pregnant strange. How? I am not supposed to get pregnant. I cannot get pregnant. 
meaning? You are not barren, are you? I sleep with my husband and then we use protection. So there's no way I could get pregnant because we are not ready. We, we are looking like two years before we start having children. Wait, 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 wait. Well, that won't stop anything. Maybe in the middle of the goal, a goal has been scored. Oh, you are listening to me. Wait, that means that Kingsley is a good scorer. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean anything will not happen. Oh, okay, wait. This pregnancy has not been confirmed. Yes, because you have not run any tests to ascertain the pregnancy. As far as I'm concerned, it's only an assumption. It could be malaria or something. I, I, wait. Uh, my advice is let's run a pregnancy test first to know whether you're pregnant or not. Since you're sure that you have not slept with your husband without protection, then I am sure this is nothing. Okay? I... Let's do the pregnancy test first, please. Okay? Hey. Hey. Uh, I want to use the restroom. Okay. Fine, it's just some girl stuff. Don't worry, I'll call Tracy over. Okay. Um, you sure you don't want me to do anything for you? I could. No, I, I said I'll call Tracy. It's fine. I'm, I'm fine. Okay. Love you. I love you too. Just make sure you are okay, alright? And you have a nice day, yeah? Sure will. <laughs> Hi, Tracy. Uh, it's me. Um, okay. 
I think something is wrong. I, I actually feel strange. But oh, don't worry. I, I know what to do exactly. Yeah, thank you. What to do? from afar so I decided to come say hi okay that's it and um, can I get to work now oh. I know your type <laughs> exactly your type okay then um, tell me more they pretend to be tough they don't talk to women Beautiful and dark women. But deep down, they are scared. Um, I don't want to talk to her. I don't want, to, maybe after opening up, they fall down there. <laughs> oh, I see. I've also met women, but none as delusional as you are. Unfortunately, I do not have the luxury of time to sit here and rant with you because I've got a wife to provide for and work to go to. So if you do not mind, I will take my leave. Excuse me. Bar and uh, can I get the bill, please? Yeah, can I get the bill? I mean, the bill for everybody that has been drinking here. No, you don't need to come. Just give me it one of that at all. And you start talking. I'm not here for jokes. I'm really, really serious. Start talking. Andrew, I'm talking to you. Rita, don't you think you're causing a sin? I'm, I'm causing a sin. Now, you think I care? Would you, would you be calm and talk to me? You know what? This whole playboy thing you always do is not going to work for me. It has never worked. It's not going to work. I'm experiencing changes in my body after that day I woke up in your house. What did you do? If you're experiencing changes in your body, shouldn't you be talking to your daunting husband? You raped me, Andrew. You raped me, didn't you? What proof do you have? You drugged me while we were in this restaurant. You drugged me and I saw myself woke up in your house. You raped me, Andrew. What proof do you have? Even if I did so? You think I don't? Rita, listen. I do not want you appearing before me to create a scene again. Do you understand me? You think I don't have proof? At least my pregnancy is proof. You think I don't have proof, right? So you just, just wicked. How could you do that? How? You said you wanted to talk and then you, you, you drugged me. What kind of human being are you? You know, aside the fact you won't be able to explain what you were doing in my house and at that restaurant, to be honest, I don't think I have any other reason. I hate you. I love you too.
baby. Are you okay? I am. I'm just. I just don't. You know what? I'm not. Did I do anything to wrong you? No, it's not about you. She said. I want to get pregnant. I want to have my own child. I want a baby. What? Why? I, I thought we both agreed two years. We just completed a year a few weeks back. Okay, think about it. You leave this house every day, leaving me alone in this very big house. I just stay here, I get very lonely, very bored. I'm all alone. I need a child, someone I can play with, someone to keep me company, a baby. I just, I want to get pregnant. Let's have a baby. Get me pregnant. Let me have a baby. Let me have my own child. Out. Don't, Out. You know, that's, that's the only thing that's going to make me happy. I want to have my own child. I want to feel like a woman. What's the joy of motherhood when you don't have a child? What? What? See this whole world. Who, who is going? I just want to get pregnant, babe. I just want to have my own child. Okay, what is it my baby is hiding? Um, why don't you guess? You know, I'm not very good with guesses. Besides, it's um early in the morning and I know you've not gone out, so why? Wait, let me guess. Is it lingerie? Oh, you got an horrible mind. What? Well, it was not even my birthday yet, so. <laughs> Definitely not expensive. Anything. Oh my god, this. Oh, this is beautiful. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome, my friend. I love it. Oh. Glad you do. So cute. And you see, I was just driving past this boutique last night. When I saw it, and immediately I. Figured you in this loving dress and how cute, perfect you will be looking in it. Aww. So I decided to get it for you. And okay, you did not tell me many of storytelling skills in Greece. <laughs> but this is my, how did you know? Like my favorite colors, red and black. Hmm. I'm glad you okay. like it. Okay, it's on a heel. Look at you! <laughs> Mistress, you on. There's no way you can be fine without taking your medication, please. Honestly, you've been shivering, you've been throwing up. I'm 
seen you in this situation before. Just try and take it, please. 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 And it's just to make you feel better. Sir. 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 Um, just try and make me come on, please. Please. Just manage and take it. Two more water. <laughs> Come on now, please. Okay. Just to make you feel better. All right. <laughs> so, so. Now I want you to lie down while I go out and get you energy drink. Don't want anything. Oh, baby, come on. I, I said I'll be fine. Oh, well, you need a booster, please. Come on. Sorry. Hey, baby. <sighs> What's going on here? <laughs> Let's just do a good life. No, you... You were actually shivering on the bed when I stepped out. Well, well, well. So how come you... I'm better now. <laughs> There you go. Take it. Okay. Let's toast to the little you in me. Oh, I don't understand what you mean by the little me in you. Oh my God! Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes. There you go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my God! I'm so I'm so happy for us. I know you don't have to worry anymore. We're going to have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Mm. And you look looking so beautiful in this gown. Oh. Now I can ever imagine. <laughs> you come here. You wouldn't even dare if you tried. I marveled at your arrogance of display. I don't know what you're talking about. Bumping into a seat uninvited? It's totally insulting. Oh. Then your ego is the little part, young man. This is a public place and not your sitting room. As long as the seat is not a reservation, anyone can sit anywhere they want without any permission. So get it straight. Really? You heard me. Hey, if I may ask, why are you stalking me? 
Your ring is a beautiful jewel. Thank you. It's not just a jewelry. It's a symbol of my love and perfect marriage with my wife. You see, as a faithful husband, I'm not open to women who deem it fit to, you know, jump up on any random man they see out there. You have a lavishing tongue, you know. But you know what? A ring doesn't make you faithful, but your heart does. I wore that nonsense for five years. Yeah, five years. I dedicated my life to it. I worshipped it like it was a god. What did I get in return? The man I spent half of my life loving, caring for, charged me for child neglect. This man got married to a girl 20 years younger than he is. So you see what I mean? It's not about the ring. Um, sorry how your marriage ended, but not all ends that way. And um, this you're doing. One is um, I need to go. And I really appreciate it if you stop stalking me. You said I come here occasionally to relax, have some drinks while away time, and I won't want to be forced out of here because of your visitation. And I hope you understand this. Yeah. I just came down from the bed. I wanted to ease myself. Well, then I felt this tickling pain. And I saw blood. The pain was so excruciating. I didn't, I didn't know. Now I lost the baby. Babe, look. This whole thing happened so fast. I feel so devastated. I just... to my body. I didn't understand the pain. I didn't understand. I didn't know it was labor. I didn't... I didn't. Baby, it's okay. Right? We'll take it slow and steady. <laughs> I'm pregnant again. Of course you would be. You are now riding skin to skin with Kingsley. What do you expect? No, you don't understand. I missed my period for like three months. Three what? Yeah. You know, I just felt this whole thing was like an after effect of the pills I took. You have to calm down now, okay? Okay, okay. Fine. I, 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 I trust you to come up with a solution. No, no, no. Is this this cannot be possible. And I, I had this abortion a few months ago. I, and then I saw my period afterwards. I actually just realized the little changes in my body recently. Rita, you're still pregnant. And your child is still healthy. The changes in your body but have been due to hormonal imbalance Wait. caused by the drugs. Okay. Oh. How, how many months gone am I? Oh, it's, it's possible it's a new pregnancy, right? No. Your 16 weeks gone. 
What? This, this cannot be possible. What am I going to tell kids? What will I tell my husband? How am I supposed to explain this? Rita, I don't know what is going on between you and your husband. He is to be your support at this point. There's something we can do, right? I can take it off. I'm ready. I can just take it off right now. Rita. I don't need this fitness. I can't give Rita, it. Rita, we cannot do anything. It's risky to you and your baby. I'm sorry. Huh? <sighs> it's finished. Okay. In. She's in labor. Well, she isn't duty next month. That's my shock. Um, um, doctor, how's my, my wife? Is she all right? No. I mean, yes. The baby is out. It's a baby girl. But there were complications. At child part, the baby needs blood immediately. Doctor, my, my wife, she had donated. She lost a lot of blood at level. Oh. And by the way, she's not a match. The baby is premature. We need to check it up immediately because she needs a lot of blood and medical attention right now. But doctor, let's 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 go let's go yes, do we'll mine. Do it let's go do it. Doctor, please, I'd like to be checked too. Because uh, I want to help. That little Inda is my best friend, please. All right, you can go with us. I, I, I would also love to help. I mean, she deserves all the blood she can get. Okay. If it won't be a waste. <laughs> let's go. Okay, She's just right. a lucky woman. She do not know how yeah, blessed she is. Let's go. All right.
Doctor, are you ready for the transfusion? I'm sorry, Mr. Kinsley, but none of you was a match. What? Doctor, I am the father. So if my wife is not a match, I should be. I'm sorry, Mr. Kinsley. If there is another person you know that would love to donate blood, please call the person immediately. We need the blood immediately. But I, I... But... Sorry, I'm late. I had stuff that I needed my attention. What did I miss? Doctor, please check him. He's our last hope. If he isn't a match, then we'll have to look for help from somewhere, please. Okay, let's go. Please, let's go. We don't have enough time. What, what do you mean you don't know what happened? Huh? Oh, you just lay down there and Angel Gibra visited you like Blessed Virgin Mary and you got pregnant? I did not do it. I never cheated on you, babe. Babe? I swear. Listen, you lost right to that world the moment you had your legs open for another man. You know, I kept wondering. Actually, you'll be six months gone. You're shameless. You're shameless. After all I've done for you. I did not cheat on you. I swear. <sighs> I did not. You remember? You should ask Andrew. You remember how he, should, he was just stopping me to see him? You remember him, the crazy guy who was just stopping me to see him? <sighs> so that, that, that's, the, that's the useless man that you... you, you he raped me! He... He drugged me and he raped me. I, I went to the restaurant to meet him, to talk with him. And, and then I just found myself in his house the next morning and I realized something was wrong. I knew he did something to me. I knew he raped me, babe. I did not do it intentionally. I will not. I will not cheat on you. I will not lie to you. He raped me. Andrew raped me. Oh, Rita. Rita, no. Come on. Hiding these magnitude of secrets. Wow! Impressive! Do you know what? Once you get out of here, your bag is gonna be waiting for you outside the house. So you can have enough time to play around, enjoy life with your lover boy. He loves you, right? But you know one thing he doesn't have that I do? Which is a good heart. I just can't stand this. It's over. I mean, this is over between us. Please, you can't. God. You can't do this to me. You can't do this. Tracy. <laughs> I thought, I thought you were a good friend. But I never knew that you joined hands to destroy something that I've built over the years. no proof. The baby is fine now with the blood. So I have to go now. The police needs me for a proof over the words of your mouth. You're such an animal. You are such an animal. I thought I warned you. I warned you.
Um, um, ca calm down, okay? I, I need to take you home now. Yeah. Come on. Ah. Uh. Her mother's care and love. Eh? Since we came back from the hospital, it's been from one baby milk to the other. She has never been in your arms. Why would she be in my arms? It's like you don't understand any of this whole thing that is happening. Why would she be in my arms? This baby came and destroyed everything for me. You want me to carry her to do what? Till when? Till when, Rita? Till when? Eh? It has been months since we came back from hospital. And it's still like yesterday for you. So you think the time things just pass away? Everything will just wipe away like that because of, of, of how long it has taken you? Calm you think down. this whole thing is... Uh, please, don't tell me to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. This, this, this girl has brought me so much suffering and so, so much disgrace and shame. Eh? What do you want me to do? Carry her and do what? No, Let her father come and carry her. It's not her fault. And you know it. I was having a very good life. A very beautiful life. She and her father now came to, to, to destroy my life. Eh? It has been months since Kesley left. And from the look of things, I'm not sure he's coming back. Please take care of this child. No, please. That's the reason why she will suffer. She will suffer for, 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 for coming into my life to destroy my life. Let her suffer. <coughs> eh, please, leave me. You, 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 you. Peter, when will you stop thinking? Have you even asked yourself that question? How long am I supposed to go on like this? Tell me how long. The last time this I had this kind of feeling was when my parents. Don't say no stuff, please. <laughs> you already have a lot going on. Adding this one that is going to be a lot on you. You want to get yourself worked up? I should not talk because you feel I'm weak and fragile, right? Of course you know I can never do that. I just feel that you having this and having that is going to pick you out. Please. This whole thing is my fault. Nothing is your fault. Tell me. Mind. If I hadn't gone to that devil's house, will this whole thing happen? Hmm? I promised myself that I was going to make myself proud. I was going to make my family proud, but right now he looks like I've disappointed everybody. No, it's not true. Tell me you're not disappointed. No, it's not true. Look at you. See, you need to be taking care of yourself. You need to take care of your health. Look at you, you are even like a short shadow of yourself. Please, take care of yourself. Adam was right all along. There's no evidence against him, nothing to prove. Since who? Have you taken a closer look at Rachel? That girl is Andrew's replica. She is a beloved evidence. See, you never thought of that. So, how is Rachel? I was actually going to check on you people before I saw you seated here. Thank you, Kim. 
wrong with you? Um, what is it? I hope you're not thinking about that fool that cheated on you. Um, it's okay, Jane. It's not Don't. okay. No, it's not. I've been with you all this way and all you do is think about her. I have lived to fight her memories just to win your love. No, 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 Jane. I'm not, I'm not gonna accept you talk about her like that just because I know that she's offended me. Here with you now. No, you're not here with me. You're a one night stand. You came in here and you refused to go because you've seen money and good life. I don't understand. Are you serious? Like, ser wow. Yes, I am that one night stand. That one night stand I gave you a shoulder to cry. I cook for you, I support you. I even gave you my body. So what else do you want? What has she given to you that I haven't given to you? I said she was there for me when I had nothing. That's the difference between you both. I'm sorry. Jane, I'm sorry. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm... Babe? Babe? Oh, I, Jane, I... Baby, come and say... What? How can you say that to me? Hey, hold on. Oh, Jesus. Hi. Don't tell me you have the guts to show your face in this house again. After several warnings have been given to you. I remember Wisdom telling you that he will shoot you if you come around us again. Tracy, look, I am sorry for everything that happened. I'm just here to see. To, to, to do what? Eh? Oh my goodness. She looks beautiful. What, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't worry, it was about leaving before you came in. No. Peter, I actually came to... Just, just save it. You came to see what? See what? You even have the mind. You, 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 you got your shame yourself to, to see what? Or to see what? You know what? Before I open my eyes, get out of this place. Look, Rita, you do not have the right to keep my child away from me. You are such a fool for saying that. You raped her and disappeared. And you have the nerves and guts to come to this house to claim ownership of a child. Are you insane? No, I'm not. I just came to ask for a second chance. That's what you had. The first chance. What she did was to rape me and that is something I will never forgive you for. So please, Kindly leave here before I do something with this with us. Andrew, you hear that? Please go. Please, please. And I really don't know what you're doing here because I remember telling you that I don't want to ever set my eyes on you. I don't want to ever see you around here. Yes. Peter, I am sorry. I know it's been months. And all the time I've been doing a lot of thinking. I agree that what I did was wrong. So, you will just go away and then you think you can just come home back up and thinking everything is going to be alright. No! You have done so much damage to me that whatever you're going to do cannot replace or recover Allow me to recover from it at all. Just.
give me a second chance. Yeah. Let me marry you. Yeah. Let's raise this child as a girl. Don't, don't even mention my child's name. Do not. Peter, things are not done that way. Think. I need to marry you so that we can raise this child together so she can have a family. Or you hand me over the child. After all, you never wanted her. You are a big fool for saying that. Big fool! Please get out of here! I'm not leaving if I don't see my child. Eh. Let him wait. Get mad and lay well. Get out! Calm down. Calm down, Tracy. How am I supposed to calm down? See, Andrew is here. He wants to come and claim my child. I want me to cl calm down. Why? Why should I? He hasn't come. Or he's I, I know. I know. I am saying it so that he will hear me. How can he just come from nowhere and then he wants to come and claim? He just, he, he, because he thinks I'm weak. He thinks I'm weak. He just wants to come and use me so that he will just collect my child. The only thing I have left. Wow. Yes, I do know this is the first time I ever see you acknowledge Rachel as your own. I'm happy. I need to just stop this whole thing. Want something? Let him in. So Andrew, I'm going to go straight to the point and say it the way it is exactly. My child is not yours. What? What are you talking about? Yes, I lied. I lied to everyone. Rachel is not your child. And that is the truth. So can you go now? No, I can't. Rita, you can't play me for a fool. I raped you. The blood matched. So the child is mine. If this is your ploy to scare me, then think again. Okay, so you finally accepted that you raped me and that this is your child. You're very confident and you're very sure. Why don't you prove it to me then that this is your child because I gave birth to the child and I know who the father is. And I'm telling it to you right now that you are not the father. But since you're confident and you're sure, prove it. Give me a proof. Then let's do a paternity test. I want the test now. Okay. Okay. Fine. Let's do it. We will do it, but there is no way I will let you in the same room with my daughter. No way. Rita, do not play games with me. I want that test done, and I want it now. It would take only four days. If the result comes out, if the child is not mine, I will apologize for all the troubles I have caused you. But I need that test now. You want to do it? Fine. We'll do it.
Yeah. Mrs. Risa, the process is on. Yeah, the results will take three to four days. There is nothing to worry about. Wait, wait, wait. Three to four days? That's too, too long. What? what? You were drinking again. I have to think. You don't think when you drink. You get drunk and snore like an overfed pig. I don't. If you miss her that much, then why not go back to her? Are you out of your mind? You act all tough and all that. I know. But deep inside you, you can't continue without her. You can't live without her. Listen, I have lived a year plus without her. And I'm doing quite well. Mm -mm. You have not. You go to work late, come back all drunk. You hardly eat. You don't socialize. You've done nothing productive with yourself. Listen, if you're not a boss of your own, I'm sure by now you could have been sacked at your place of work. That is how messed up you have been. Jane, you know nothing about me. Oh yeah, you keep saying I know nothing about you. But you are the one that knows nothing about yourself. I know you still love this girl. You're just enraged by what she did to you. But you really cannot continue without her. Listen, that's enough, okay? That's enough. I need to catch some rest. Think about this. So, Rita, I went to the hospital and I was told that you took the result already. Why? Yes, I did. And the result is positive. Oh, God, man. I think you need fixing, Kinsley. Not the kind that involves needles or stitches, but the kind that requires getting back the love of your life. Admit it, you are messed up. And the only person who can help you is the one person you pushed away. I love you, Kinsley. Is someone who deserves this place so I've decided to leave I know you have been stalking her and you know where she lives go and find her I'm sure she will be equally hurting save yourself as you save her I love you Jane
Why did you take the result? And why are you smiling? Wait, so you finally agree that you raped me? Look, Rita, I'm not in for your long talk. Uh. Fine, I raped you. Yes, I agree. I apologized. <laughs> What's that? it already. The result shows that that child is mine, so let me have my child. <laughs> Why are you smiling for God's sake? Well, it's a smile of victory. Victory Come over what? When you've been looking for something for a long time and you finally get it. Victory. Revenge. Smile of revenge. You know, it took me months waiting and hoping for this day to come. But so glad you finally did. I see. Mm -hmm. I thought I apologized on this. I no, told I was you sorry. I'm not sorry at all. If I didn't get pregnant, if any of this does not happen, you will never accept that you raped me. But I have said you sorry. You are not sorry. That child needs a father. Look, I made a very big mistake. Treating my child with so much hatred because of how much I hated you. I never gave her the motherly love and the motherly care she deserves because of you. But now, thank God everything has come open. Now I can just pay attention and take care of my child by myself. Anyways, it's um, good that everything happened. I had to make you do the paternity test so that we'll have more evidence. Plus this one we have right here. I'm not in for a long talk. Fine, I raped you. Yes, I agree. I apologized. Rita, you didn't do this. <laughs> I need that phone. Let me have the phone. Leave her alone. Rita, let me have that phone. Detective Mark Steven, here with me, Detective Grace. Mr. Andrew, you have been charged for rape and child neglect. And you may have the right to remain silent for whatever you say will be used against you at the court of law. Officer. Okay. Move! You know I'll be out in I a week. Move. You know I'll be out in a while. Yeah, hello Tracy. Yes, um please I don't know how you're gonna do this, but you really need to help me out. I can't deal with it. I can't leave without her. No, listen, it's like my life has been in a pause. Oh, God, please just talk to her to me, please. I need her back home. I, I can concentrate. I can't move on. I felt I did, but I can't. Listen, please, I'll really appreciate it if you can do this for me. I need her back home. I've forgiven her, yes. No hold back. Please talk to her for me. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Who's that? Hold on. Hey, I, I, you know, just, don't. 
okay, I've actually waited for this day to happen and I never thought it was going to actually happen, but I'm ha I'm happy. Sorry. Sorry for everything. I never did it. It was not intentional. I know what she did on here. I just. I know. <laughs> Thank you so much. Come on, love. I mean, friends like you are rare. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Tristan. Get your it's okay. Cha la 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 Look at her smile. Yeah. She looks so much like you. I know. She's, she's got your eyes. 